that 50% of all employees killed on the job work in convenience stores. Here, what appears to be a simple purchase turns into a horrifying act of barbarism. The frightened clerk backs away in shock as the robber empties the register. Security experts and law enforcement always recommend that a victim complies with the demands of an armed robber. Unfortunately, this clerk asked too many questions and paid the price. What do you want me to get down for? survived the shooting. Los Angeles, California. This appears to be a normal transaction in a convenience store. Unfortunately, this purchase is only a diversion. This store owner was not going down without a fight. Tragically, it cost him his life as the robbers shot him repeatedly. The business of movie making is sometimes very dangerous. In Argentina, film crews capture the action as a chase is filmed for a movie. The first run through goes well, but the director wants another take, hoping to get it just right. Notice the cameraman behind the bush. The cameramen are in place. The first car overshoots its mark and backs up to return to its starting point. Watch carefully as something goes wrong. Suddenly, the car takes a sharp left turn down a small embankment where the camera crew is set up. Watch again as the car inexplicably veers off course. Buenos Aires, Argentina. Racers prepare their cars for a local stock car race. Drivers pull onto the track. The drop of the green flag starts the race. As the cars scream by at top speed, something happens at the back of the pack. Watch again as the race car becomes airborne and begins a series of dangerous rolls. The driver is ejected from the car and his helmet is ripped from his head upon impact with the track. Luckily, the driver is not crushed by his own car. Rescue crews rush to the scene, 
some not realizing he was ejected from the car. Amazingly, this driver survived this accident to race again. Bogota, Colombia. Skydivers take off from a local airport. The plane achieves jumping altitude within a few minutes. The skydive goes horribly wrong when the primary chute fails to deploy. Reserva! 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 Spectators scream for the diver to open his reserve chute, but it's too late. They walk away in shock from what they have just witnessed. I tell you what, just get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. I ain't got to lean on the ground, man. Two Texas state patrolmen react as a suspect refuses to get down on the ground. A struggle ensues. The police use their nightsticks as they are taught, but it has no effect on the powerful suspect. As the man wrestles both officers to the ground, they have no choice but to shoot. The 1998 Winter Olympics introduced a new form of extreme skiing to competition. Crested Butte, Colorado. A skier attempts to navigate a steep rock-covered hill. He slowly negotiates his next move and jumps again. Rescuers begin the difficult process of bringing the injured skier off the mountain. Rod? That's not very smart either. Rod. The skier was lucky to survive. The widespread use of dash-mounted surveillance cameras in police cars has not seemed to reduce the number of suspects who try to flee from the police. This suspect pulls over for police, but he has no intention of waiting around. of 100 miles per hour, the police cruiser can barely keep up with a high-powered motorcycle.
Suddenly, the motorcycle brakes, the police cruiser cannot stop in time, and the two-ton car slams into the suspect, crushing him to death. Cobb County, Georgia, a stolen Jeep is pursued by state troopers. The state troopers ram the Jeep, hoping to stop it. Troopers position their cars. maneuver. Hostage situations are the most dangerous of all police calls. The safety of the hostage must remain the top priority. Bogota, Colombia. A bank robber has been cornered by police. In a desperate move, he has taken a pregnant woman hostage. The robber is bleeding profusely from a wound to his arm as he continues to negotiate with authorities. The frightened woman can only wait and pray. The man says he will not be taken alive. Chaos ensues as the police descend on the scene. En esta ambulancia proceden a llevar a la señora que estaba como rehén. Afortunadamente está bien, ella quedó 
ilesa y también proceden en estos momentos a llevarse al hombre, a Héctor, quien mantuvo secuestrado a esta mujer. El tiro fue en la cabeza. Vamos a conversar con el comisario Pablo Guzmán, jefe. Mexico City. Another bank robbery suspect has been trapped inside. He emerges with a hostage. He is wearing a disguise. Once again, a police sharpshooter brings the drama to an end, saving the life of the hostage. Whip to save him. People stuck on the higher floors must make a difficult decision suffocate from the acrid smoke or take the risk and leap from the building. One man can wait no longer. Tragically, the man lands a few feet from the fire truck that was not equipped to save him. Police officers sometimes must make difficult decisions when faced with a deranged suspect. Here, an obviously disturbed man is surrounded by police in Oklahoma City. The cameraman realizes he is not armed and ventures outside to get a better angle. appears to challenge the officers. as officers swarm over the suspect to take him into custody. Miami, Florida. A Cuban immigrant is threatening police officers with a machete. The man walks out onto the porch and raises the weapon. Camera crew films extreme bicycle jumps for a television show. The rider builds up speed and then begins his jump. Oh my god. Oh my god. You okay? Uh, you okay, man? 
Although momentarily stunned, the rider survives to ride another day. Wait, sit, 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 sit. Have a seat, have a seat, bro. Sit. Have a seat, have a seat. Come on, sit down. All right, bro. Okay. The next jumper will not be so lucky. As he gets airborne, a gust of wind sends him off course. Watch from another angle as the rider misses the narrow landing ramp. attempt to resuscitate the rider, but there is nothing that can be done. The Thailand Stock Exchange in Bangkok. Investors study the board as the Asian financial crisis deepens. Inside the lobby of the exchange, a distraught man, now bankrupt, holds a gun to his neck. A spokesman for the exchange tries to reason with the man and convince him to seek psychiatric attention. Will he succeed? The man was rushed to the hospital in critical condition. Miraculously, he survived the suicide attempt after undergoing surgery to remove the bullet from his neck. Security surveillance cameras capture this horrifying crime in a convenience store in Plano, Texas. It's a rather peaceful night that turns deathly violent. I'm trying to read tanks. Uh, I thought you'd forgotten me. No, I, I usually start, usually it takes about 20 minutes. You've got, I've got six, uh, eight, uh, six, eight, I got 48. I got to put the gallons in the, I got to go out the car and get my own purse. Okay, my got the wrong purse? Got the wrong purse. All right. The next customer won't be so friendly. Notice the accomplice standing outside the door. A record? Yeah, he got a record on my door. And I tried to call him. Did it work? Yeah. Give me one. Open it up and give me one. Hurry up. Finding the till empty, the gunman vents his frustration. A home security system captured this domestic confrontation on a front porch. Hey, 
They continue carrying on this bizarre conversation while the man is dying. This tape helped convict the murderer who was sentenced to life in prison. Being a member of the highway patrol is a dangerous job. Many times the threat of violence comes from the most unexpected places. Don't take long, get up to 80. Not in a car like that anyway. I sure didn't. Been drinking anything that? No, sir. Not a drop. No, sir. Well, right there. Okay. All right, so I want you to take a deep breath, blow through the tube until I tell you to stop. Okay. Blow. Again, in slow motion, watch how the passing car takes the officer down. 